One out of every five people on this planet is mentally ill, ranging from problems such as social anxiety to most serious ones like severe schizophrenia. During a week-long conference held in Italy, neuroethical professors and psychopharmacology expert Stephen Stahl assert that some mental health problems can actually be cured by exercise or prayer, while others need continuous medical treatment since they affect the mind. Medicines for psychiatric or psychological problems are best used for serious conditions. Milder versions can be improved with lifestyle often or psychotherapy, even meditation, prayer, but serious illness needs help. A lot of relationship issues have nothing to do with really disturbed brain chemistry. So those kinds of issues with children or with spouses or parents, those are often best treated by psychological interventions or insight. Milder forms of depression and anxiety can be treated with exercise. It's very, very, very important to avoid a dualistic vision of the human being such that a mind outside the body and the body. So we are a unity. Uh, unifying structure. Nothing is like without meaning. So if you choose something, you have first to understand that something like a drugs, like a um, substance, like a, um, uh, like a style of life, lifestyle, could influence or influence your st biological structure. With this in mind, both professors say exercise or meditation cannot and will not cure a structural or biological disorder. Even more dangerous extremes such as suicide and drug abuse can easily occur in people who do not seek out help at the beginning when first signs start popping up. Too often in our society, problems of the spirit or problems of the mood is thought to be due to personal weakness and something's wrong with you. You should be afraid of it and ashamed of it and hide it. And if you ask for help, it means you're weak and you're not good. And this is a very sad misconception because it prevents people from identifying the problem and getting help. Stahl insists the way to tell if a person needs help is if one's actions interfere and disable daily activities, whether it's interpersonal relationships or one's job. If so, levels of help from basic counseling to more serious medical help can assist a person in feeling like his or her mental well-being is under control. Otherwise, you see how we do it.